Okay, so today we are going to introduce both the concept and the value of the quiet eye in golf. Now, all of the research and science in uh, golf tells us clearly that this makes a huge difference, right? If we just simply put know what to do and not to do with our eyes. So this is really interesting and it's important for all of us as, as uh, golfers. So let's get to if it. If you ask some golfers, exactly where are you looking when you're hitting the ball? Some will confess, I have no idea. Others will tell you, somewhere on the ball, I'm not quite sure, behind the ball, in front of the ball. The answers are numerous. Ideally, we want it to be looking at the ball, but very specifically on the ball. So before we get to exactly where on the ball we want to look, we want to really understand why eye control and eye movement or the lack thereof is so important in the golf shot. There's a technical term called saccade. We don't need to really worry about that term, but we do need to understand what it means. Saccade focuses on the rapid jerky motion of the eye, the unsettled eye, when you're trying to focus on something. So for example, in a golf shot, we're really trying to focus on making a golf shot. But inadvertently, a lot of times, our eyes are jumping around. We're looking at the ball, we're looking behind the ball, we're looking in front of the ball, we're looking at the club head. All within those one or two seconds when we're preparing to make impact with the ball. Tour players and the best players in the world will tell you, oftentimes when they're preparing to strike the ball, they can only see one thing. In fact, many of them can tell you exactly which dimple on the ball they're focused on. Many of us may never get to that level, and that's perfectly fine but we do want to develop the habit of training our quiet eye. So we really, really need to understand where we're looking on the ball. Begin by practicing looking at the back of the ball and just keeping still. Ultimately, you'll get to a point where you too can identify the dimple on the ball and have that quiet eye.